Ra'am. R-A-W. What's up, great people? This your man, Soapbox Rock, and today is day 28 on releasing all the mediocrity. How y'all doing out there? January 28th, 2015, day 28, releasing the mediocrity. Man, today I want to talk about the this principle where you can find the blessing inside of the curse, right? When we go through our scenarios and we make decisions, you know, we're automatically forced to deal with those situations. So, in the process of dealing with the situation, things go right, things go wrong, but when things go su supremely wrong, we tend to just look at all the negative and never try to find the victory inside of the negative, right? So, I remember when I was younger, I used to always play the blame game. Oh, it's that person's fault. I was totally irresponsible, totally immature. And those things eventually led me to going further, further down the slope. Uh, getting to the point where I felt um, like, what is really going on with me? And one event that happened particular to me um, was my, when my mother passed. Uh, and I know I talk about that a lot, and I'm not even like sad about that. But it, that was a very critical moment in my life where it was a shift that had to happen. Prior to that, I felt like I was a man. Keyword, I felt, but it was not true. Um, I was doing certain things that mimicked being a man, but I wasn't fully invested in being a man as of yet. And when my mother passed, I slipped, slipped, and slipped, and slipped, you know, further and further away. And then I had this epiphany one day. Um, I was, you know, in meditation, because that's what I had to do to clear my head a whole lot. <laughs> And what I discovered was that her passing was to make me better. So instead of choosing to go a route which would have led me to more self-destructive behavior, I chose to say, you know what, her passing is hidden to make me better. Let me take the teachings that she gave me and empower myself with it at this point in time instead of letting myself keep sliding down that slippery slope and I end up somewhere where I definitely don't want to be up at. It would be up in. And so at that moment, I started to allow that, that aspect of what happened as far as her passing, I started to let it empower me. And I started to climb that ladder, uh, what they call success, right? <laughs> and when I started to climb the ladder, I started to learn this thing. I started to learn about maturity. I started to learn about integrity. I started to learn about intelligence. I started to learn about humility. I started to learn about being courageous for actions and labor of love. And I started to learn all these things about how to become the best person that I could be. And prior to her passing, I never like really tried to be all of that like I am now. You know, I used to always just tuck my mother up under my arm and like, yeah, if something happened, you know, I could just lean on her and you know, she my crutch, you know, but until that point, when the crutch broke and I had to fall, I never tried hard. So my message today is people find the blessing inside of the curse, because it's one there. It's just, we gotta switch, switch the perception. Once we switch the perception, now we can see, okay, this is here to make me better. This is here to improve me. This is not here to tear me down. I only stay down is when I choose to stay down. So find the blessing in the curse, good people. I mean, great people, find the blessing in the curse. This is so box rock. Day 28, release of mediocrity. We let it all go, people, for 90 days and beyond. I don't want to see no mediocrity coming out of nobody. I'm going to check y'all out tomorrow on day 29, release of mediocrity on January 29, 2015. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy your day. If you're just not checking this out, always remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And always remember this, great people. Fear means to face every apprehension repetitiously. And I'm out on that one. Do said.